Mikkel Brook confirms next fight date and opponent, Brit explains big change. Getty Brook is coming off the back of two defeats, the most recent coming at Bramall Lane, the home of his beloved Sheffield United. The 31-year-old saw Errol Spence Jr. claim the IBF welterweight title and left him considering his future in the division and requiring surgery on his broken left eye socket. But Brooke is now set to return up a weight where he is purely focused on regaining a world title. I can't wait to get back in there and it's going to be special returning to the arena, said Brooke. The Spence defeat cut deep and it took me some time to come to terms with it but now I'm back with a new challenge at 154 pounds. I believe I will be stronger and better than ever in the division and my focus now is on becoming a two-weight two-time world champion. Rabchenko is a dangerous fight for the return but I want to jump straight back in at world level and I think out styles will gel for an electric fight. I'm already deep in camp and I can't wait to feel the atmosphere again in my hometown on March 3rd. And his promoter Eddie Hearn also backed Brooks switch to super welterweight. I'm so pleased to see Kel back in camp and moving up for a fresh start at 154 pounds, said Hearn. He refused to vacate the title for Spence but was could never fight at his full potential making 147 pounds anymore. This is a tough, tough test. Probably tougher than I would have liked but Kel wanted to be straight back in at top level. The Spence loss hurt him badly especially being at Bramall Lane but we are going to get this arena jumping for his return, Kel is one of the top fighters in world boxing and you will see a new animal on March 3rd at the Fly DSA Arena.